Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today I am very excited to present you with Astaria. This is the project that I've been working on for over a year now. Now Astaria is an NFT lending platform, but we go about the problem of NFT lending very differently than anyone else. So if you're in the NFT finance space, you've probably heard about peer-to-peer -peer and peer-to-pool. Our model is quite a bit different and pretty novel. It doesn't really fall into either of the conventions that have historically made up the NFT lending space. When we were designing this system, our goal was to become the first borrower-centric NFT lending platform, and I think that's what we've achieved. When you go to Astaria, you get instant liquidity for your NFTs, and you're also going to get the best terms in the market. All loans on Astaria are fixed duration, fixed rate, and there's no forced liquidations. Now what that means is it doesn't matter what the price of the NFT does when you have that loan out, you can't get liquidated, and your interest rate won't change based on the price fluctuations of your NFT. You know what you're getting into on day one, and those terms can't change on you. So how would you use Astaria? Well, this app is live now. If you go to astaria.xyz, you can use it, and you'll be presented with this Get Started page, and you can see there's a few different options for you to select. Now I will cover, of course, the most important items, but I do think everyone should read through our docs. If you click here, you'll be directed to them and you'll be able to get in-depth detail in how everything works. The most important thing I want to call out before diving into everything is we have something called the three-actor model that makes Astaria different from all other lending platforms. Now in all lending, of course, you have liquidity providers or lenders and you have borrowers, but on Astaria, there's a third role which makes up the three-actor model and we call it the strategist. Now a strategist is generally an expert in the NFT space. Strategists build complex models to value NFTs at a given period in time. In our system, they then convert these appraisals into lending strategies on the platform. Now in the future, anyone can become a strategist, but for our launch, we're going with Upshot as a launch partner. I'll share a little bit about Upshot in just a minute, but effectively what they do is they appraise hundreds and hundreds of thousands of NFTs. They convert those appraisals, which are price estimates, into loan terms. So they're deciding what interest rate a user will pay, what amount they can borrow, and what duration is appropriate. They bundle all of that up, send it to our system, and we convert those to loan terms that you can take out as a loan. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Upshot. They're probably the most well-known NFT appraisal company in the space and they basically appraise thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of different NFTs. Um, and if we click into one here, let's just click Board Apes, you can see that all of the different appraisals will load for all apes. And so they basically have pricing data for every NFT in this collection. Now, the unique thing here is Upshot isn't just writing terms for the floor, right? They're writing terms for each specific NFT and sort of respecting the underlying traits that make NFTs worth more or less than each other. So that means when you come to Astaria and you have an NFT that's appraised, and again, they're appraising hundreds of thousands of NFTs, you'll get unique terms to your specific NFT and you won't be borrowing based on the floor. So how does that work in practice? Well, let's assume you have an NFT. You can click here, deposit NFTs, borrow with. You'll see my justinbram.eth address pops up here. And you can see that I have two NFTs with offers right now. And so the loan pops up immediately I just click here and I can instantly take out a loan. Now it looks like I have one Milady with an offer here and I also have one of these Bad Trip NFTs, which is a test NFT that we've been using over the past few months. Now our system at Astaria will always show you the best possible loan you can get. So in the future when there's many strategists all offering different terms, the best terms will bubble up here on our front end. Right now it looks like I'm able to borrow about one and a half WETH against this NFT and the term is fixed for 27 days. Now again, that means I'm not going to be liquidated unless I don't pay back that debt at maturity. You can also see here the APR that it would cost to take out this loan, and then we've also broken it down to a daily rate here. Now another thing that Astaria does that's borrower-centric is you only pay interest on the time that you've actually had that loan out. So if I were to take out this loan and pay it down tomorrow, I'd only end up spending about 0.09% of interest. Now that is different than some of the other platforms out there today. So if I'm interested in borrowing, you can see it's quite simple. I'll just hit borrow here. You can see that the details pop up again for you to review. Now, if it's your first loan on Astaria, please note that there are a few approval steps that you have to do before actually borrowing that WETH, but it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. I also wanna direct you to this text box here. Um, of course, the maturity date is important and you're gonna to wanna to make sure to have that date in your calendar. But there's also one more interesting thing that we do that's extremely borrower friendly. So what happens in liquidation? What if you don't pay down that debt in time? Well, your asset will get sent to a Dutch auction through OpenSea Seaport. So in this case, I borrowed 1.43 WETH. I got liquidated, but this NFT is actually worth, let's say, 5 WETH. 
So if it's worth five wet in liquidation and it gets purchased, that excess capital beyond the debt plus a liquidation fee all gets returned back to the borrower. Now in other platforms, that's not the case, but we wanted to make sure that we make everyone whole in the system. So we make the lenders whole and we also make the borrower whole because we have excess funds that we can return to them. Now in the future, of course, there will be liquidations that you can bid on. I'll show you what that tab looks like here under auctions. You can see we have one of these test NFTs in liquidation right now. The current price is 0.64 WETH and it's declining all the way down to zero WETH. Now at any point in this auction, anyone can purchase the NFT. Of course, we first make the lenders whole, and if there's excess capital, we send that back to the original borrower. So this brings us to the question of where does this ETH actually come from that people are able to borrow? So if you see here, there's an option to deposit WETH and earn yield. Now if I click that, I'm going to end up at the vault selection page. Now here is where you can see all of the vault strategies that are currently running, and you can see that right now we're launching with just the Upshot vault. Again, Upshot is managing all of the terms and strategies in this vault. You can see that ahead of launch, we have about 350 ETH of liquidity to get started, but anyone can of course deposit ETH into this vault if they so choose. So if you decide to LP into this vault, you're basically delegating capital to Upshot to write strategies on your behalf. Now these vaults are of course pooled, so if you deposit ETH or WETH into this vault, your liquidity will be pooled with this 350 WETH as well. Now that has the benefit of basically smoothing out your returns. It is expected that some users default and some capital can't be recovered from individual loans, but on a whole, the vault should theoretically be profitable. Now, of course, there are risks and it's possible vaults do lose money. That's certainly a possibility, but you do have a benefit of being pooled with other users here. So if I click into the vault here, we can see a little bit more information. You can see here that the APY is zero. No one has loans yet. You can see there's about 350 ETH of deposits, and you can see the, the utilization rate is zero, meaning there's no in-flight loans. Now that is of course expected because we're not going to be launching until you see this video. Now if you want to deposit WETH, you can absolutely do so, but there are a few things you need to know first. The most important piece to note is that the vaults run on an epoch-based system. What that means is capital is locked for at least one epoch up until the end of the next epoch. Now the reason is pretty simple for this. An epoch is a constraint on the vault that basically limits the duration of loans that can be offered from that vault. In this case, you can see that an epoch in the upshot vault is 28 days long, and that means the longest a loan can be offered from this vault is 28 days. That also means the vault might not have all of the capital on hand that you deposited, and that's why we need this epoch-based system for you to signal in advance that you want to withdraw. The TLDR that you need to know for launch is that if you deposit into this vault, your capital will be locked for a minimum of 28 days and a maximum of 56. And I know it's a bit confusing, but I will link our docs below, which go into great detail on this. So that is Astaria. That's what I've been working on for the past year. We are hoping to get as much user feedback as humanly possible. So I will leave our Discord link below. You can come to the Astaria Discord and leave feedback and tell us what's working, what's not working, and what you'd like to see in future versions. I can't wait to hear what you all think. Hopefully you have NFTs that are appraised. There should be hundreds of thousands of appraisals at launch. And I look forward to hearing more from you all soon.